Air start review action. What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan D. A Ryan 680. I'm Angela Dot Cat Lady Ange. And this is our review, ladies and gentlemen, of. I mean, this is. I mean, Parasite. This is it. I mean, it's just. Ah, uh, man, it's it's a trip. It's a trip. We'll see it right off the bat, guys. Stay tuned for our review, written directed by Bon, uh, by Bong John Hu. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, guys. I do apologize. I'll put it on the comments down below. I do apologize once again. I just, uh, yeah, I'm really bad with names. I do apologize on that. <laughs> let's get right to it, guys. Written and directed by him. And yeah, let's get into this world, into this mischief. Stay tuned. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D. You can only Ryan 680. I'm Angela. That cat lady, Ange. And this is our review of Parasite, guys. This is Alamo City Movie Talk. And this is our review of Parasite, ladies and gentlemen. And wow, it just... You've probably seen a thousand reviews by now of this movie. And so we're just going to give our little small little take. We're just debating. We're all like, should we do a review? Even though this has been out for a very long time. Last year, 2019. It doesn't feel too long ago that it was just 2019, right? <laughs> No, welcome to the new year, guys. Yeah, right. Happy New Year, by the way, from Animal City Movie Talk to every single one of you guys out there. So this is our, I guess, technically our first movie review of 2020, even yeah. though this movie came out like months ago, uh, better, months ago last year. Better late than never. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> better late than never. All right, let's get right to it. Um, So right off the bat, this movie was just, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll admit it, you know, some movies I don't like subtitles on. I have to really like the movie but like i have to really like the trailer in order to watch subtitles and i know you i give crap about you because you watch subtitles all Netflix, the time all, ne- all, all the time all because time. i feel like i miss like they yeah. say something or they pronounce something a certain way it, like it just this. it's easier for me when i read it to understand what's because going on it's suspenseful and you <laughs> talk real but low. i also uh saw pan's labyrinth and that one i saw it in subtitles yeah so see, i really like that yeah one. see pants i mean i just you know movies like this particular one like parasite and all that like they're they're really like i mean obviously they're made you know they're made from you know from the country they're from so like th- that's why i was just like okay i completely understand that's awesome i love it and i was just like okay cool all right, let's get right to because I mean, t- to be honest, the trailer was amazing. I love really did love this trailer so much. I was all like, all right, I'm not a fan of subtitles, but I am gonna watch this movie. I'm really because it got me interested, it got me going. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna review it and I'm gonna watch it because I was just like, I'm gonna to enjoy it and everything. And then the holidays came, you know, we got busy and everything, so we we really just got done watching it a few a uh, few days ago. So I was just like, all right, better late than never. <laughs> um, but so let's get right into this world. I mean, okay. I loved how natural this movie felt. Like, man, there was just no sugarcoating whatsoever in this movie. It really showed the lifestyle of, you know, of the country and everything. I just, it really showed the atmosphere that they're taking us this into this world. And I was just like, wow. Like, I was, I was astonished how great, um, how great just, just the uh, the story was. It, it felt well written. It felt like it was a well written story. Direct, great direction in this movie and. I'll say it. I mean, I just we're not gonna mention any spoilers, by the way. So we're not we're, we're not gonna mention any spoilers. But I mean, I just didn't see it in that turn of events. It wasn't, I could say, a very predictable movie. It really no. wasn't. Yeah. No, a lot, I feel like a lot of like movies, especially like when within like the thriller mm-hmm. horror genre, kind of have the same plot. Yeah. So you can kind of predict what's gonna happen. And I mean, it's great. It's fun. It's 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 you know that's the formula for movies for certain genres. But I feel like this kind of broke out a little bit, and it was really surprising how it turned out. And I actually really was, I was pleasantly surprised by like the climax and how it yeah. ended, and the story how it unfolded be- mm. before our eyes. And I, I really enjoyed that. And see, here's the thing. You know, I I'll say it again. Like I mean, I'll, yeah, I I completely agree with you there. I really did love how just the uh, it uh, you know. It, it's funny because I was just like, man, it's, you could tell what how much money really goes up to people's heads and everything, and when it, when money really gets involved. Well, and, it, yeah, because it shows yeah. it due to different lifestyles. So yes, yes, like the the plot itself is like a, centered around a very very poor family, mm-hmm. and they're uh, being hired on by a very very wealthy family. So you see mm-hmm. those two di- different dynamics, and it's really interesting to see how that plays out and yeah. how the different characters are in like two separate worlds but they're in the same city you know mm-hmm. it's kind of crazy how that happens and see it's uh it's a south korean movie so it was it was crazy to see like how um how really like just just the lifestyle and everything just a different lifestyle different class we saw different um uh different living situations and i was just, i was really astonished how it wasn't sugar-coated i loved it because it felt like i said again it just felt so natural it felt so smooth the story was just it was hot. It was so good. I really did enjoy a lot. I enjoyed the climax of this movie. I really did enjoy how the runtime of this movie didn't feel. It felt very fast because we're in this thriller. We're in this moment. And I just, <laughs> yeah, um, I'll say this, I guess. The 
the wife of the of the rich family she was so naive to everything i was just like yeah. well i feel like they were very nice you know they considering were. you know that they have very very amounts i mean there's this like I guess stereotype that you know wealthy people are pretty rude and mm-hmm. condescending, but they weren't, and it was pretty nice to see that. And we, but we see like they're a little too trusting, yeah, too gullible, yeah. Um, so that's you know how you know that that kind of led their scheming, the, yeah, the scheming that was, their plan, yeah. That's why they fell, you know, for the scheme. Yeah, and see here, um, uh, so the trailer, which I did love, the trailer again. I'll say it again, the trailer it actually didn't give too much away. It was just like, oh, here's this person trying to, you know, um, uh trying to pretend to be like you know in school and everything and to tend to be in, in just for in a university job. yeah for, for a job, job. And, and that's all i got of it and i loved it because i mean it really didn't show us like the whole family was in on it like dude mm-hmm. i i i liked how we see that and then we kind of see yeah. uh how they're gonna keep up this facade yeah. and i really enjoyed yeah, yeah. what what and actions was, happened you were at the edge of your seat because how great of a thriller this movie was i was just like oh my god oh my god oh just like oh my god like oh, how are they gonna get, yeah. get out of this one guys yeah, so you're, and, and, and to be honest you're just, you you start feeling for the family you're just like at first you're just like oh man these people are they're doing it for themselves or just do you know and then you, next thing you know you just start feeling for almost pretty much every single character when they all have I, their flaws they all have their yeah like, like usually there's like a villain but i mean was there really a villain i mean it's kind of hard to say when you look at two different sides of the truth and um it's so hard to in yeah. this case because yeah. they weren't bad people well, they, they were just well, trying to do what it takes to survive I guess, yeah. You could say that, yeah. And the psychological part of it, I was just like, wow. I was astonished how great it was. I mean, I just... This this movie right now, Ron, it's currently on Rotten Tomatoes at 99%. I could see exactly why. And I know at first when we, we saw it, we're just like, oh, man, okay, so it's 99%. And we're just like, oh, but that doesn't mean... Because uh, just because it's ninety nine percent around tomatoes doesn't mean that you know all of us are gonna like it. Moviegoers out there, so we're we're just like okay, let's let's give it a shot. I mean, critics a lot of obviously everyone start every single critics loving it, um, except that one percent. Um, and I will say this, I just like I mean, the poster itself was very unique. I would say that poster was just crazy unique. I mean, it was just yeah, it was pretty unique the way they did everything and 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 just it was. I just I love this story so much. I was just like, wow, like maybe it's enough for me maybe to possibly even buy it because I was just excited. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was happy to see the um the story progress. I cared about all these characters. I cared about every single one of these characters. You care about every single character pretty much that yeah. is, you know, shown to you. Yes. Not just like one family or another. Yeah. And and we, you know when it comes to different movies and everything, you're just like, "Oh, here's the villain. You're going to hate that villain and all this." You know what I mean? Like this is the bad guy. He started like it just no, it wasn't like that. It was just very complex. It was very psychological part of it. I just I was really astonished of how the well-told story of each of their characters was, how the story was put together and where they came down to the climax of this movie. And when the climax happened, I would I didn't see any of it coming. I was just like, <laughs> I "Holy saw it coming. Oh. I saw it coming." No, no you didn't. <laughs> I don't sure it, don't admit it. Don't admit it. You, I, we talked about it off camera. You did not see one. You predicted one thing. Okay, that was it. But other than that, there was like multiple things happening in this movie. So, there, and that's the thing. Like it, it's. I predicted one thing, but I, I didn't see like the, the other, other thing things. happening. Yeah, so exactly. I feel like that's awesome because you yeah. know it's not very that, predictable that will surprise a lot of people yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll throw a loop yeah. out there and we saw at the alamo draft house and it was a full theater i was like dang okay yeah, so a cool. lot of people are still seeing it currently and it's funny because i actually um when i posted that we were there someone both commented on there as well they're just like oh i didn't even know this movie's still playing in theaters i've been meaning to see it and i was like yeah go check it out it's at the draft house if you have a draft house in your area because draft house was the only one showing it still here so I was just like, hey, you have a draft house in your city, guys? Be sure to check it out at the Alamo Draft House because, you know, they're the best theater when it comes down to Draft House Recommends, guys. I mean, let's be honest. It was Draft House Recommend movie. Um, so, yeah, so let's go. Uh, what did you feel like they needed? I mean, I, I just I couldn't take away anything because this movie, I mean, I hate to say it because there's rare occasions where I'm just like, okay, what if I would have taken this or this or this? Nope. And. I- I don't know what I would, I would. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I, I think they needed. I feel like right. the the direction, the story itself was pretty pretty well done. Yeah. The, the actors were so great, so great, all of them. Um, I, I I think it was pretty good the way it was. What I what I saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So uh, this movie actually, um, what do you call? It? I just. 
I actually didn't li- I didn't mind the the name. I was just astonished how the name was like Parasite. Like that's a pretty makes good, sense. Yeah, makes it makes sense. sense. This movie came out to be two hours and twelve minutes. It did not feel like that whatsoever. It felt like an hour and a half movie. It was so quick. I was just like, what? It's already about that time. What? We're getting our check already? What the heck? I mean, yeah, it was a pretty trippy movie. Um, He's referencing our dining at yeah, the draft house. Yeah, our dining at the draft house. I was like, what? We're getting our check already? No, not yet. I want, I want, <laughs> I, it's just so good that I had, I'm gonna, I'm, I had more time enjoying, uh, enjoy my chocolate milkshake while watching this movie i was just like wow like i'm, I'm really enjoying this chocolate milkshake but then now nah, i'm enjoying this freaking movie it's both <laughs> both equal good all right um yeah so was this the film that we deserve definitely right i'll definitely say this is the definitely the movie we deserved Alamo City Movie Talk does approve this movie guys be sure to check it out at the you if you have not already or if you're not able to see it be sure to check it out when it comes out on blu-ray it should be coming out very soon guys so because it, it, it has come out uh around october november around that time so yeah it's been out for a while now um but yeah, so um, ratings now. Let's go to one out of ten. What are you gonna give uh, it? That's so hard. I would give it a solid eight because it was a pretty solid film, and I would watch it again. And okay. I can't wait to watch it again. Yeah. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> I, you know, I'm gonna have to give it a nine. I'm gonna okay. give it a solid nine because it just I really did enjoy this movie. Go back meditating on it. I just the action sequences, and and it's funny too because we actually got to see a lot of action dialogue, which I love because a lot of movies, you know, when they don't have a lot of action, or just like it has a lot of more action dialogue, and they create that suspense that with words more than with you know more than with action thrillers and everything. But then it mixed it up a little bit, and I was just like, holy crap, <laughs> we're getting both, and it just I loved it. I loved everything. I love I loved it. I loved the climax of this movie. I really did. I enjoyed it. It wasn't too much of a um, and it wasn't too overboard when it came out to the climax moment because it was a build up and you could feel the build up even the music was building up and I was just like wow like it wasn't like a dump dump no 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 it was just going pretty smooth and the orchestra was it was just it just felt natural uh, it just felt so smooth and I, I really did enjoy this movie um, but yeah so uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a solid 9 uh, yeah again Alamo C. Movie Talk does recommend this movie we will probably buy this movie I'll probably, probably. buy it yeah more than likely <laughs> <laughs> but alrighty guys uh, if you haven't already be sure to check out uh, our other podcast platform guys we call it's called Island of Reality Podcast where we talk about reality TV shows guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below guys you know you want to as always I'm your host Ryan D and Ryan 680 I'm Angela, that cat lady Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like our review, guys. And by the way, we're gonna be review uh we, we are gonna be reviewing tomorrow the new moons trailer that's coming out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that as well. As always, like, share, subscribe, have a wonderful day, and thank you for making us a part of it. <laughs>